NYU Professor Lawrence Schiffman of the International Jewish Committee for Interreligious Consultations. Welcome, and let's start by telling us about your longtime relationship with the Vatican. I have the privilege of being a representative to the International Committee, Jewish Committee for Interreligious Consultations, which is known as ICHCIT. It's the official Jewish dialogue partner of the Vatican. It began to operate immediately after the uh, issuance of the Vatican II document regarding the Jews called Nostra Aetate, which changed completely the Catholic doctrine regarding Jews and Judaism. And so I've met with a lot of people at the Vatican. What you find in general is tremendous sympathy for the Jews of the Jewish people, tremendous remorse for past in, uh, anti-Semitism, and a desire to erase it and move forward in a very different way. Now, it's easy to doubt these things or to be skeptical about the reality until you actually meet the people. And when you meet the people and you form very close personal relations with people there, uh, you can see, I think, how genuine it is. And you say the Jewish people have never had a better relationship with the Catholic Church than we do today. Why is that? Now, this doesn't mean that they agree with all of the positions of the Jewish people or the state of Israel. It doesn't mean that we're never going to have any disagreements. But it's very different to have disagreements with a friend than to have different disagreements with someone you either have no relationship to or who's an enemy. So you couldn't ask, I think, for better relations between the Jewish people and the Catholic Church than we have now with one very big caveat. We're talking about the Vatican now. We need to remember that contrary to what a lot of Jews think, the Vatican is not centralized like some kind of communist state. It just doesn't work that way. There's also an archival section of the Vatican with invitations for Jewish scholars to come study, but obviously Corona has slowed down this process. What's next? We know that Pope Francis wrote in his book uh, soon after he came into office that he wanted to open these treasures to everyone. They're very important for two questions. Number one, the role of Pius XII, Pope Pius XII, during the Holocaust. And number two, there's a lot of other Holocaust information in these archives. So in the case of the archival materials, there are going to be a lot of really interesting things that we're going to learn. And I think we need to give scholars a chance to look at the material before jumping to uh, some of these announcements that we've heard. And also there's huge support amongst evangelical Christians. Does the Catholic Church acknowledge the divine plan of the Jewish people? Where the Catholic Church operates in a positive way, besides protesting anti-Semitism in general, that kind of thing, is that they are trying to teach their people that the Jews somehow fit into the overall theological world and therefore that they are acceptable and positive. We are living in an atmosphere now where for most of us, the Christians have turned in many cases into our good friends. And they understand their religion in different ways. They understand their religion in ways that give us not simply a sort of place in what you might call the divine economy, but also which often is extremely positive about us and our religion and our commitments and, of course, about Israel. Thank you so much, Professor Schiffman. We're